First extraordinary session of the 89th General Assembly is adjourned. Back to the drawing board for Iowa's new congressional borders. The Iowa Senate voted along party lines to reject the first proposed redistricting map early this afternoon during a special session. All Senate Republicans voted no, while all Democrats voted in favor of the map. Lawmakers then ended the special session. Lawmakers left their jobs, many in the middle of harvest, to drive from the corners of Iowa to the State House in Des Moines. And that is where we find Local 5's Mary Sugden. Mary, what's the Republicans' reasoning on rejecting this first round of maps? Yes, yeah, Stephanie, Samantha, what this vote really came down to is two major concerns from Senate Republicans, and that's the compactness and the population deviation of what they see in this first proposal. And basically what that means is they feel that some of these districts were laid out sort of awkwardly. Others uh, differed greatly in their population, both things that they'd like to see tweaked in the second proposal. But first, let's take a look back at that first proposal, give you an idea of kind of what that looks like. Most notable changes, Iowa's first district shrinks in geographical size, moving more toward the southern part of the state for the second congressional district that would expand into the northeastern part of the state and the fourth district growing to occupy nearly half the state. Well, there's several, but I would just mention a couple. Um, Senate District um, 49 looks like an eight. Um, Senate District 17 looks literally like the salamander from gerrymandering. Um, there's other districts that um, have house districts that would be the fifth biggest Senate district in, in compactness and population or in, in compactness. And so those are the types of things that we look at. What they've started to set up today with the rejection of the first plan really is a rejection of the second plan. I truly believe with this vote today, they've already started their gerrymandering process for a third plan. So where do we go from here? At this point, the LSA has 35 days to resubmit a second proposal. And from there, the lawmakers, they can't vote on it or look or take any vote up on it, rather, at least for seven days. Now, earlier today, I spoke with a former lawmaker who now serves on that redistricting commission that really serves in this map process. And he says any concerns that people may have on this process really shifting power to a different party, that's just not valid. Trying to influence uh, majority control, I don't hear as much of that. Um, you know, Iowa in the last few cycles has been a Republican state and has voted for wide Republican majorities in the legislature and Governor Reynolds. And, and I sense a lot of confidence that that'll be the case even after uh, the 2022 elections. And so control of the chambers, I haven't heard that come up. As a, as a consideration in this. And as far as what's happening behind closed doors on special session days like this, he says lawmakers have informal chats with their colleagues before discussing it with their caucus. Trying to give some guidance to their members on what they think is, whether this is a good map or whether we should look at the next one. At the end of the day, uh, most legislators are going to vote with their own hearts and minds on the map. Now, before this morning's special session kicked off, there was hundreds of protesters who gathered here at the State House protesting vaccine mandates. Now, they really occupied mainly the first floor here at the State House, carrying posters, chanting, while some of them actually uh, banged on drums. They're really just trying to put on the pressure to lawmakers here, some of them filling the chambers, again, hoping to put uh, pressure on lawmakers to take this item up. However, this was not discussed officially on chamber floors today. We did learn from Senate Majority Leader uh, Senator Whitford that he did speak with some of them uh, privately in his chamber, but again, no action taken on that today. So again, at this point where we go to from here, the LSA having 35 days to resubmit or to submit rather a second proposal. So much more to, to see here and we'll again be monitoring for you as it happens. But for now reporting live at the State House, I'm Mary Sugden for Local 5 News. We are Iowa. Back All right, Mary, thank you. And for you folks at home, what questions do you have about the redistricting process? We know it is a lengthy and complicated process. So text us your questions to the number here and we will get to working on finding you answers.